Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operations of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. What is a routine problem? Routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? Non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. The four-step line in solving multi-step routine problems. First, we should understand the problem. In understanding, read a question twice or thrice, then know what is asked and what is or are the given facts. Second, formulate a plan. In planning, consider the following. What is or are the operations to be used? What is or are the hidden questions? What is the number sentence? The third step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. In solving, show your solution and level the answer. Lastly, we're going to check or look back. In checking, go back and check the flow of your computation. This is our first problem. The average of 8 numbers is 94. If 82 and 86 are added to the 8 numbers, what is the new average? Our first problem is a multi-step routine problem. So we're going to use the first step line. What is the first step? All right, we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So what is asked in this problem? All right, it is asking for what is the new average in statement form it is asking for the new average next what are the given facts when we say given facts these are numbers or statements that help to solve the problem so the given facts are the average of 8 numbers, which is 94, and also 82 and 86 are the new numbers to be added. Yes, we already understand the problem. So, what is the next step? Alright, we're going to formulate a plan. So, what is or are the operations to be used? Looking back to our problem, what do you think the operations that we're going to use since this problem is a multi-step problem? Alright, the operations are multiplication, addition, and division. What is the hidden question? Yes, what is the sum of 8 numbers with an average of 94? What is the number sentence? All right, the number sentence is 94 times 8, open close parenthesis, plus 82 plus 86, open close parenthesis, close with the bracket, divided by 8 plus 2, open close parenthesis, is equal to n. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. This is our number sentence. The number sentence is having several operations. We can solve it using the order of operations, but the order of operations is not yet introduced to you. 
So, we're going to solve it step by step. For step one, we're going to answer the hidden question. What is the sum of eight numbers with an average of 94? To get the sum, we're going to multiply 94 and 8. So, 8 times 4 is equal to 32, 2, regroup 3. 8 times 9 is equal to 72, plus 3 is equal to 75. The answer to our hidden question is 752. Then, in step 2, we're going to add 82 and 86, which are the two new numbers to be added to the sum of step 1. So, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. To get the new total, let's add step 1 and step 2. So, 752 added to 168. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. 0, regroup 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 12. 2, regroup 1. 1 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 9. 920 is the new total. For step 4, we're going to add 8 and 2. And the answer is equal to 10. To get the new average, let's divide step 3 by step 4. This is our step 5. 920 divided by 10. So, 9 divided by 10 cannot be. We take two digits. 92 divided by 10 is equal to 9. 9 times 10 is equal to 90. 92 minus 90 is equal to 2. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. The new average is 92. We already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check or look back. In checking, check the flow of your computation. Therefore, the new average is 92. This is our second problem. Mang Lito has some cows and chickens in his farm. All in all, there are 22 heads and 64 legs. How many cows and chickens are there? Our second problem is a multi-step non-routine problem. So, we can use a drawing illustration to visualize how we're going to solve this problem. There are 22 heads. So, we're going to draw 22 heads. Then, each head, we're going to put two legs since chickens and cows have a common of two legs. As you can see in our illustration, we put two legs in every head. So, 22 heads times two legs is equal to 44 legs. In our problem, it is says that the total number of legs is 64. So, 64 minus 44 legs is equal to 20 legs. Since we put already two legs in every head, then we're going to divide 20 by 2. 20 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 10. So we're going to put additional two legs to 10 heads.
Next, we're going to count the heads with two legs. Therefore, there are 12 chickens since chickens have two legs. Then let's count the heads having four legs. Therefore, there are 10 cows and 12 chickens are there in Mang Lito's farm. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With that, mathematics may not teach us how to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.